Shalom, everyone, and welcome back. This week's Torah portion, at least outside outside of Israel, is the portion of Parsha of Nasso. Since Pesach, since Shavuos last week uh, came out on Friday and Shabbos. So last Shabbos we read the portion dealing with the second day of Shavuos. So this week is Nasso. However, last week in Israel it wasn't Shavuos anymore. So they read Nasso last week, and this week they're reading Baloscha. So yeah, outside of Israel, we're reading the Parsha of Nasso. Anyways, in the Parsha, it talks about the various gifts that all the tribes gave towards the Mishkan. The Mishkan went into active service. This was the portable tabernacle in the desert that the Jewish people had, and it went into active service on the first day of Nisan, shortly before Pesach. And each of the tribes gave a special gift, many, many different gifts, and they were all exactly the same. The Torah tells us that each each tribe gave a silver bowl and a silver basin. The weight of the silver bowl was 130 shekels, and the weight of the silver basin was 70 shekels. And each tribe gave exactly the same weight, the same basin, the same type of basin, the same type of bowl. Altogether, it came out that all of the tribes together gave a total of 2,400 shekels of weight. So the question is, why is it that it mentions each individual gift rather than just say they all gave uh, an amount of silver weighing 2,400 shekels? Why does it mention the individual ones as well? And the answer really is that each individual's gift was special. Besides the fact that they were all together as one unit, the Jewish people, but it enhanced the gift of each of them individually as well. And that's true with all of us. We are all part of one whole. We are one great group of Jewish people. We are the Bnei Yisrael, or Klal Yisrael as it's called, the nation of the Jewish people. We are all together. We are all as one. However, within our oneness, we all have our individual specialnesses as well, our uniquenesses, our qualities, our talents. Each one of us has those qualities and those special talents which are unique to us. And the fact is that we are part of a whole only enhances our individual qualities as well. We are as one. There are many uh, totalitarian dictatorships that stress the whole and not the individual because they, they have no respect for the individual, and they will, they will kill an individual for the benefits of the whole. On the other hand, you find in Western societies, we emulate the, the individual, and the individual counts. The individual is very special and very holy. Well, in Judaism, we emphasize both the preciousness and the holiness of the, of the klal, of the nation, of the whole, but as well, we emulate the qualities and the uniquenesses of the individual as well, because each one of us is special. Each one of us has our unique talents and our unique potential as well, which we contribute to the whole. And that should be an important lesson for the rest of us as well, not to de-emphasize our own qualities, but to emphasize them, but at the same time to be part of the whole as well, the nation of Israel. Candlelighting in San Diego We'll be at 7.35, and I want to wish you all a good Shabbos.